Hey guys, um, welcome once again to our platform. I want to quickly do a video on how you can enter your trade positions, your long positions, your short positions. By long, I mean your buy positions, and for um, short, I mean your sell positions. Okay, so you don't have to miss um, these two. Buy is long or long is buy sell is short or sell um short is sell okay so um this um signal i posted in the um telegram channel please do not trade it it is just for reference purposes just for this video okay so this is how our signals will look like the first one is long by srp usdt cross 10s okay now it means buy ripples that is srp with usdt using cross margin using 10x leverage okay the entry there means the um how much ripples will be before you buy it okay anything um, since we are we are buying it from 0 0.6790 downward we can buy okay the sl is the stop loss which means um you calculate seven to ten percent of whatever amount you are using okay and set it as stop loss take profit is when when the price gets to 0 0.900 you can decide to close your trade okay you can decide to close your trade right or you can still close half of the trade or still monitor your trade till you get to the last stop loss okay and for sell position it is still the same thing sell ripples using cross margin 10 leverage like that like that so let's practicalize this right now on our binance app okay so let's assume you got this first trade okay this first one say long um ripple you just open your binance app okay there are two ways you can enter or search for um a particular coin or features once you've opened your binance app you click on market all right you can see futures right futures okay you can click on it okay you can click on futures then you in the search box there in the search box here okay you can type in the name of the coin in this case srp okay when you do that you see a couple of options this options is telling you these are the pairs this particular coin is traded with on binance so what we are concerned with is srp usdt you need to pay attention so you don't go on if you can see the last one the last one is srp usd the first one is srp usdt they are not the same okay because what you have is usdt okay i'm, I'm sure that is what you use to fund your your wallet okay so you need to take that into consideration okay so you click on srp usdt which is the first one it will bring you to this place okay the second way we can come to this place or we can look for that coin we want to buy is to click on futures okay futures icon at the down at, at the base of my screen you can see home you can see market you can see trades you can see futures so you just click on futures it will bring you to this interface all right so when it brings you to this interface you can decide you can decide you can decide to click here all right when, when you it brings you to this interface you might not see srp you might see another coin so you click there all right once you've done that 
once you've done that this um, particular pop-up will come up for you you can now search for that coin again s srp okay you can see it here srp usdt you click on it so you can use this um method to search for any coin that you are trading okay so when you have you are done with that our signal says long right cross 10x right so on the, the first option we have here is isolated right second one is the leverage okay now just click on you might see cross when, when you when you open your your own app you might decide to see, you might see cross okay but whatever whatever it, it is that you are seeing there let's assume you are seeing isolated just click on it and click on cross click confirm if the signal asks you to make use of isolated margin you select isolated margin but in this case our signal said cross right 10x it means cross margin and 10x leverage so let's select cross and select hope you saw what i did there this is the leverage section right so you click on it and you can decide to type the leverage you are using okay if you are using if you are asked to use 20 you type 20 if you're asked to use 5 you type 5 if you're asked to use 10 as the case of for example you type 10 you can also drag this until you get to what um the figure you want to use okay all right so 10 good the next thing is we said long or buy right so you click on buy that is if your green is already if your button is already on buy you can leave it but if it is on sale you click on buy okay so the next thing is the the uh, signal said buy the entry is 0 0.6 0 0.6790 right 0 0.6790 okay and we'll see the current market the current price of the coin is 0 0.6752 which means it is below the price we are asked to buy which means we can buy it and as it is growing up we will make more profit okay but if the price has has gone far let's assume it is now 0 0.68 something which means it's more than our recommended um price right it's more than our recommended price our recommended price is 0 0.6790 okay and we now get 0 0.6852 it means it is high if we still buy, decide to go for that coin, buy the coin, because of our, our um, take profit is still high above, it means if or when we get to take profit, we might not make the same profit as others who bought on time. Hope you get it. Okay. So uh, we are asked to buy at um, okay zero point six seven nine zero or just below it and we have 0 0.6745 okay so what do we do now in this place you can see market right you can see this arrow you can just click on it let me show you something click on it you see limit you see market you see trailing stop these are the three major ones we'll be using but for starting we'll use limit and market but basically we might use market more okay you get it all right so let's assume yours was on limits 
limit order. Limit order. By limit order, it means you can buy that particular coin even when the price has not reached your target. Okay? But for market order, it means you are buying that price at this very price. At this, this is the market, the current market price here. So if you select market order, it means you are buying that particular coin at this current price. Hope it is well understood. But if it is for limits, you have the power, you have the opportunity to fix, fix it yourself. That is, when you want your, your order to be activated, you can decide to say, okay, let me, I want to buy it at 0 0.7. 440 okay it means when the price goes down to 0 0.7 um, 740 your limit order will be activated and you your, your trade will become active okay but let's just continue so let's say we we'll go with market order okay we we'll just buy it at this market rate so the next thing after market order is the amount we want to purchase that particular coin with okay so under the amount there are two ways you can add the amount you can either add it manually whatever it is you are typing here where i'm typing right now right just also watch that here So like this under the cost all right you see that the cost too is changing all right the cost too is changing okay just watch let me type 200 it has changed to 13 points are you seeing it's changing okay and the cost is the amount you are using to trade from your money so don't forget don't forget this cost is the amount you are using to trade from your money so if you have um though this this one has to do with a bit of little mathematical calculations you have to as i type in just be watching whatever it is if you're asked to trade with um ten dollars from your capital just as you're typing just ensure that here under the cost you see the figure okay alternatively you can use this let me circulate for you you can use this option here all right just by drawing drawing it as you are drawing it be seeing what is being shown underneath in the cost right like from here zero percent to hundred percent if you select hundred percent it means you are trading with everything you have you can see i have um about six thousand dollars you can see it there under the cost <clears throat> or if you are to trade and they circuit trade with ten percent you just drag your distance to ten percent it's very easy very easy to drag just hold this all right then you just move it move it to ten percent all right so whatever it is you can control it so once you have, but I'm not going because I'm going to put it straight live. Let me just make it something small so that you see it. Let me make it then. All right. That is, um, this means I'm trading with zero point six nine dollars. I getting it good. So once you are done with that, the next thing is for you to put your take profit. And stop loss you click on TP TPSL okay TPSL you can still do this after like this I, I prefer doing this after I have entered the trade so that um, so that I won't I won't it won't waste my time I'll just enter the trade fast once it comes okay 
so you can just your, our take our um take profits our stop loss is 10, 7 to 10 percent so you you would want to do a calculation for your stop loss if you are using um ten dollars it means let's say one dollar is a stop loss okay one dollar is a stop loss just can you just calculate you go here to do a video on that okay but just for you to just know a little bit of percentage okay but i'll show you a better way to do this let's leave this for now so let's say i'm trading with ten dollars i'm sorry 0 0.69 dollars that is 10 ripples check whatever you've done ensure it is okay if the order if the um buy um trade signal is buy or long please don't do mistake go and put sell because it means you'll be trading against the signal so once you are done just click on buy long all right just confirm it now you see the trade i just entered right good now for you to now add your stop loss and um take profit just click come here you click on stop profit and loss <clears throat> okay stop profit and loss okay when you are done you click on position tp slash sl all right now you can see don't don't forget just ensure that it is always a market price the first one is a take profit second one is a stop loss okay so now our stop loss is let's say 10 percent of our of our trading um capital and we are trading with 0 0.69 so let's assume we are trading with um, ten dollars to make it easier. Okay. No, let me still use what I'm using. Six zero point six nine. So my stop loss, I'll just put zero point. I'm using my my, my entry price. I'll set it below my end. My entry price is zero point six seven seven seven. You can see the entry. You can see entry here my entry price okay so my stop loss has to be below it okay so let me say 0 0.66 all right 6600 which means when the price since i'm buying because i'm predicting the price is going to go up but if the price doesn't go up as i predicted because there are a lot of factors that manipulate the market and it starts going going down. When it gets to 0 0.6600, the the trade will close for me. Automatically, I will lose this amount, 0 0.17. Which means I have lost 0 0.17 dollars. All the time in the group I asked the question, I said, if you enter, I think five trades, right? Five trades and um four of them hit your stop loss and you lost one one dollar each right and the fifth trade you now made seven dollar did you make profit some people said yes some people said no some say i don't know but of course you made profit okay because it simply means profit of seven dollars minus four dollars which is one one dollar losses right so you made profit of three dollars Hope you get it. All right. So the next, uh, after we've done our stop loss, the next one is our take profit. All right. Our take profit, which means when the when the price reach that level, we our take profit will be activated. And in this case, our take profit, we have three take profits. You can decide to start with number one. I will still do a video on how to maximize your profits, okay, manually. So I take profit number one is when the price get to 0 0.6900. Please, when you watch this video, 
watch it again especially if you do not have a clear understanding yet or maybe this is your first time so you just come here you put 0 0.6900 so now it's telling us that if our price gets to 0 0.6900 we will make 0 0.12 dollars profit oh we are following okay so automatically if we are busy and and the price get to this point it will just close the trade for us and we have made 0 0.12 um, dollars profit from our capital of 0 0.69 um, trading capital okay so hope you are getting it again so when you are when you uh, you are done imputing them just click confirm confirm all right it has been confirmed okay when you go to open orders you see them here you see them here this one is our take profit this one is our stop loss you can see it take profit this one is stop market or stop loss hope you get it so within when you set your trades like this you won't be too worried about oh how is the market going how is it going how is it going okay how is it going because automatically everything has been set some of the mistakes we made or we still may come across is when we enter a trade we don't um use stop loss especially okay stop loss especially because it is better not to make profit than to lose the one you have but for me sometimes i don't use i don't use um, stop loss sometimes that when I'm using cross margin okay because I always want um, I've, I've entered some trades whereby um, the trade went against me even up to 700 600 500 percent okay but because I have backbone I have more I have um, enough capital in my trading account they protect my particular account before you know the trade will reverse i'll still make profits that is why um i think i posted some days back and I, I i i i lost the trade because i mistakenly used isolated as against my own normal pattern of cross okay when i was using isolated i was i was losing trades most often when they hit stop loss because some trades some signals will be correct when they hit stop loss, when they hit stop loss, they can still reverse back and start to still make money if there was no stop loss. So, I, so when I discovered that, so I said, okay, I'll start using cross margin. And I was using cross margin. I was using cross margin. And I'm still using cross margin. So I, since I've been using cross margin, I have been making profit almost on every trade. But all the trades I've used um, cross margin, I, I think I made profit from them. Okay? Because you can see my trading capital of 100 and here, yeah, on, uh, 6,100 6, and something dollars. Okay? If I decide to enter a trade of, let me just say $500, it means the trade has to get to about 1, 000, minus 1,200% 1, before I will lose all my money. It is risky. But sometimes it's difficult for that to happen you get it uh, so things like that things like that so this is how to enter your long position the same thing for short position the same thing for short position that is selling orders okay you've done this the same thing for this all right the only difference is you just have to select you have to select sell instead of buy sell okay sell all right instead of buy so in the same vein you select your cross margin okay your cross margin if the signal is isolated it selects isolated okay if um you select you also select the leverage i've already showed you how to do that you select market or limit 
or limit let me see the signal if we can let's use limit for short 0 0.790 let me see okay good let's use limit for short now for lip for short once you select limit okay you can use limit or market whichever one depending on the price and the entry point so six seven nine zero so for limit we have to type it manually all right because the figures here won't be the same as here this is the market figure if we selected market here we don't need to type anything here we'll just go and execute the trade okay you get it but since we are using limit we need to type the figures here all right so i've typed the figure as um shown in our signal okay i'm just trying to be a bit slow with the video because it's i know it to be a bit technical for the first timers all right so once i've typed it i select what i want to select okay the percentage like i showed earlier i can decide to type as i'm typing here i will also be seeing what I'm typing. Okay, all right. Don't be surprised that um, the cost is six is still zero point six nine, but the figure. You no, know, then I when I was buying, when we were buying, I used ten, right? But now it is thirty. Why? The price, the market price has been changing. It was not the same. Market price then was. 0 0.7777 okay but now it is 0 0.7 um and so 0 0.6757 then it was 0 0.6777 okay so now once i've added what i need to add i click on short or sell position okay confirm it now let me show you because we use limit you will not see our order under position so you will not see it here okay we will not see it here it is here why because it has not been activated it has not been activated it has not been activated okay it has not been activated Ted. so until look at look at our order here until the price gets to this all right 0 0.6790 that is when this will become activated it will become active and will not be visible under the positions hope you are getting it in case you don't want you don't want um the, the order again you can just click on cancel all right you can click on cancel all right so in the, but in this case we are okay with it and you need to understand that um practically like now the market price is is um this right which is below our the, this particular limit order we just initiated which is not correct so for you to initiate a limit order the market price is supposed to be perhaps anyway it depends on your analysis actually because you are predicting that if the price get to this place it will start going down okay so but practically let's assume the price is um 0 0.6700 okay okay sorry 0 0.6800 and it's okay if this price gets to this place it will start if you get to 0 0.6790 it will start going it will start going down it will start going down That is that is why we will now use limit order. Okay, so you can use limit order to execute your your 
trait, you can use market order. And for limit order, since it is not active yet, you cannot set stop loss and take profit. Once it becomes active, all right, you won't see it under the open orders again. You won't see it here. You won't see it here. It will not be found here. Okay? It will not be found here. And when it is not found here, all you need to do is to now click on stop profit and loss, all right? Click on position TP and SL and set your take profit and um, stop loss positions. Hope you get it. Hope this is clear. So you can watch the video again in case you don't you don't understand anything. Maybe you can ask under the comment section of the YouTube channel. All right, under the comment section of the YouTube channel, we're supposed to start giving our signals today, but for the last three days. The market has been unstable okay unstable so the possibility of signals coming today is a bit limited because there's no clear range yet okay um, um, but if the market gives good go ahead no problem signals would come okay so at this point in time we are all trading with a lot of caution because the market is not predictable now it's not that predictable all right so welcome once again to our crypto cubana group and we aim to do a lot of things together here a lot of things a lot of things a lot of things um very soon we'll be revealing a couple of things a lot a couple of things maybe this um, premium signal groups but before that we want you to make money first so that if we are to bring up anything premium, you can afford it. Okay, we'll also um, unveil a program, um, maybe $10,000 one month or two month challenge we shall be doing um, in the coming weeks as well. Or well, anything we shall be doing, we shall be updating it in the group. Okay, so in case you, you don't understand this video, after watching it the first time, watch it again 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 all right again and ask your questions under the comment sections i will uh, i will try my best to respond as i've always done but for those who chat me privately um maybe on facebook or on whatsapp or anywhere um, because i get lot and lot and lot of messages okay sometimes i don't respond especially if i feel the question is not really strong okay i get a lot on lot of messages but if you post it under this video in um under the comment section i try my best to respond as fast because i get notifications when somebody drops a comment so i quickly just respond okay so enjoy yourself